nestled among some of Earth's tallest mountains, between two of the most populous nations in the world, lies the quiet Himalayan country of Bhutan. This sparsely populated landscape boasts some incredible scenery. Rugged cliffs and snow-capped peaks feed icy rivers that wind through deep ravines, past hidden temples and ancient villages like a scene from your favorite fairy tale. But this is no fairy tale. For amidst the towering peaks lie frozen giants, ancient glaciers whose icy grip on the land beneath loosens with each passing day. As you can see from this graph, even here, tucked away high in the Himalayas, climate change is having its effect. Average global temperatures have risen about 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's nearly 35 degrees Fahrenheit in less than 150 years. This sudden rise in global temperatures has resulted in rapid deglaciation in many parts of the Himalayas, including the country of Bhutan. As the glaciers shrink, huge amounts of water are deposited in glacial lakes further down the mountains. Here in the Lonana region of the northern Fochu Valley, millions of cubic meters of glacial meltwater are held back by a small moraine seen here. This pile of sediment and rubble deposited by the receding glacier over the centuries acts as a sort of cork, stopping the flow of meltwater and allowing this lake to form. But just like the cork in a bottle of champagne in the winter circle at a NASCAR race, once the volume of water in the lake reaches a critical threshold, the resulting pressure will cause the moraine to fail, sending a tidal wave of glacial meltwater careening through the valley below, leaving only devastation in its wake. And this is exactly what happened here on the evening of October 6, 1994. Lugachau, swollen with ice melt and summer rain, overwhelmed its little moraine and burst forth, flooding the Fochu Valley. Bhutanese officials estimate more than 18 million cubic meters of water were discharged from the lake that day, which generated a flood height of nearly 2 meters at a distance of over 200 kilometers from the source. 21 people lost their lives in the flood. Homes were lost, crops were destroyed, and thousands of fish died in the muddy waters of the swollen Fochu River. The total cost of the damage ranged in the millions. In response to the disaster, Bhutanese authorities instituted and installed monitoring and early warning systems to manage future threats and reduce the loss of life. Artificial riverbanks are also being used to control water flow around culturally and historically significant structures like these. Glacial lake outbreak floods pose a serious threat to life in countries like Bhutan. And as the atmosphere continues to warm, these floods may become more and more common.